Metroid is delayed. Oh no! What's going on everyone? Alex Prime here and yes, I'm pretty sure you've heard the news. You've seen the videos. They're flooding the feeds, and here's one more for you, because you're already here watching this one. So yes, you already know the news. Metroid Prime 4 has been delayed. Not even delayed. It is being completely restarted. They have stopped development with whatever team was working on the uh, existing game, which we believe is Bandai Namco, according to Doc Trey. Um... But that is no longer the case. I guess something really bad was going on with that game because Nintendo made a video today and they were saying that develop it is not going well and it does not live up to their quality. So they've scrapped it. They have completely stopped that version of the game and they are now going to restart development with Retro Studios, which of course made the last, uh, last three Metroid Prime games, not the Federation Force. We don't count that one. We don't count that one all right there's just three but yeah those three were made by retro studios and now they're gonna make metroid prime 4 and this is good news because if nintendo wanted to they could have just kept this garbage ass game coming and we would have had to experience a terrible metroid game which didn't meet the standards of the previous games so it's good news that they have finally handed the reins back to retro studios why they didn't do this from the beginning, who knows? Maybe because they were supposedly working on that Star Fox racing game and didn't have time. Or maybe they didn't want to work on a Metroid game and they gave us Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze and then the Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze port on the Switch. It's really all they've done lately. They helped with a couple of Mario Kart 8 tracks as well. Um, but other than that, they've been pretty silent. Maybe, again, secretly working on that Star Fox racing game. But now we know they will be working on Metroid Prime 4. And honestly, this is the best thing that could have happened to the game. You gotta stick with the studio that made the game popular, the ones who know how to handle it. They're, they're Nintendo's only North American studio, and Metroid is a very North American-centric game. It's where all the sales come from. They know the market. They know what the people want. So they're the studio to handle the game. So I, for one, think it's a good thing that Nintendo decided to stop development from whatever studio was doing it. We'll just say Bandai Namco. Let's put the blame on Bandai Namco. Let's just say Bandai Namco fumbled. They dropped the ball. They didn't know what was going on. And now we got Retro back at it, doing what they do, making Metro games. This is great news, people. The only downside, of course is it's already been two years since we've heard of Metroid Prime 4 and uh, now it's gonna restart you can expect this game honestly guys probably 2022 it's definitely not 2019 it's it's more definitely not 2020 that is not enough time for a game that's being restarted 2021 at the earliest but to be honest I feel like it'll be 2022 it is what it is. You gotta wait. You want a quality product? You gotta wait. We saw this with Breath of the Wild. Delay after delay after delay. This is a little different since they're starting from scratch, but you get my gist. You know that they want to give you the quality. They want Metroid to have a certain standard, and they are going with the team that can do it. So that's good news as far as I'm concerned. It means you will get a better game at the end of the day. Uh, hopefully, they add some online. They do the things that we want. Maybe. We'll see. Ret I, I believe Retro can still do it. I know the team's not the same anymore and some people aren't here. And uh, some say they're kind of like the rare of Nintendo now. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what they do with Metroid Prime. So uh, that's about it, guys. Metroid Prime 4 delayed. But I think it's for the better. Nintendo made the right call. It's good to see that they put quality control over shoving out a garbage game and just milking their fans by getting them to buy garbage. Like, that's... That's not the Nintendo I like, so I like that they are sticking to their quality, their seal of quality, and that makes me very happy. Again, you'll have to wait, which sucks, but you will get a better product, so it's definitely worth it. Let me know, guys, are you are you in the same boat as me? Do you think it's worth waiting for, or do you wish that Nintendo just let the studio, whoever is handling it, put out a mediocre game just so you could get it sooner? Some people might like that. I don't know. We'll see. Or... Do you just want to get mad? <laughs>
Well, let's talk about a comment section below. Make sure to hit that like button, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. This was Alex Prime, and I hope you had a great time. Bye.